been a little while fellas i'm back um i've got a delivery today so to show you what, what we've got. got this big pallet and these are all the medical service panels and medical gas panel back boxes so these are going to get built into the walls here like so we've got a little one here for those little ones over there and um the different ones the petitioners are putting all the um steel in the wall so we can just screw them up so it should be nice and sweet so they've been labeled as what sort of panels they are and i've just gone through and counted everything and it wasn't quite what's on the drawing here so my drawing i've, I've showed you this before um we've got to go to the actual sit down either we've got to go to the actual um uh design from the company and these have been approved and like the drawings um yeah we sent them through to the engineers they've sent them back they've been they've approved them from the engineers and then we sent them off to this esco mob and um they actually give us the exact layout of what's what's going on here so so for this one this one's the 2a we just have to i'm just double checking that everything's right here on the back box and then they've actually delivered what they've got so here's a little job on the laptop and, um yeah i've just uh counted up the quantities and double checked the quantities because the quantities are on here as well so i've just checked that they've delivered what they've said so i've just run through and counted them and it took me about an hour to be honest i'm um, just sorting them all out and making sure but you know you definitely want to know that you've got the full delivery it's pretty important so you don't want to um, get to the end of the job and then you're missing one and the lead time on one of these to be built is like weeks and weeks you know <laughs> don't want that boys it's been a little while since i've been out here but i can show you what's up here too so um the gas guys have come and put on their little valves for the um for the the gas panels so th they've done a lot of work in the last uh week or two that i haven't done a video and uh, yeah, all their little nozzly things are on. And also all the medical panels have been marked out on the wall and uh, the petition is coming through building them. I just, I know I just said that, but that's pretty much it. But our um, power and data feeds are about to go down the walls. Um, I need some metal conduit still to, that's been ordered, but it's a bit of a weird product. So I need a couple hundred meters of metal core anaconda and yeah. I'll show you that when we get to it, but yeah, we've got all most of the power feeds and the loops in between two. I think there's a feed feed split between two panels, like two beds. So most of them are roughed in out here now, and yeah, we might go down and see what Andrew's up to. Fucking bludgeon. So busy. <laughs> this guy's busy. Yeah. Cutting all them cable ties, mate. Yeah, mate. Oh, there's one. What happened to that one? <laughs> yeah, you'll get it. Alright, so Andrew is all oh, fucking screws over here to the plan ski. Uh, where are we here? So Andrew's roughing in the uh, ceiling space outlets that are controlled by um, MSB7. It's got seven switches on it, and these in ceiling outlets are just controlled by a double pole, double pole switch each. I'm not sure what they're for yet, but that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so he's just cruising around and doing that, and then he's also doing the links, the non-RCD protected links in between the medical services panels. So boom, 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 down through here to, 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 to six. So that's just a couple of outlets on each on each panel in this case, and yeah, just cruising through, making it nice and neat, making sure the labels on labeling's on point, you know, and uh, it's telling it where it's from and where it's going, which is makes it easy when you're fitting it off and you know, it's got feed on there, you know it's coming from the board, so just making it easy, fault finding later. What the fuck is this? You ever seen one of these before? <laughs> fuck, it's got my name on it. No way. <laughs> Sexy legs on camera then. I'll put some Marvin Gaye. No, it'll get YouTube blocked. Bow, 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 bow. You can do 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 do
Oh, we've got some basement lights on now. Well, I mean, we've got some basement lights on there, but these are the finished product ones. There's some high low base, low high base. There are, uh, these particular lights have like a few different wattage settings. I think they're set at 60 at the moment. They, they go to 100 and then to 150 if you need them, but I mean, they're quite bright as is. You know, nice and lit up, so. Nice. Mr. Aaron and his flash new space mobile just done them. Give it a drink. <laughs> you want a drink? <laughs> Mate, how's this? Like, the ground's so saturated. We have a little bit of rain today. Flooded again. Four inches of water over the bloody road. Welcome back comrades, um, little Saturday Arvo update, so um, yeah, let's flick a rick. Alright, so these uh, peanut uh, jib rockers have uh, sheeted my wall, pastures, jib rockers, pastures, they've uh, sheeted this external wall, they shouldn't have done it, so I had to cut a A4 page size hole, and uh, a little pro tip to keep them on side is just number number your holes and then number all the cutouts so they just slip back in straight away it's very easy then all right so i've got the data down into these holes which is fine uh, i couldn't do the power though because i i'm still waiting on my anaconda steel armored conduit these are rcd outlets here so it's a dedicated circuit to each one a little overkill I know but uh, it's a dedicated circuit so I need uh, steel mechanical protection in the wall I can't remember the course off the top of my head but um, it's one that says for cables within 50 mil, 50 mil of a finished surface it needs either RCD protection or like some proper armor so we're putting anaconda in the wall and um, we're above the three meter level the three meters is about there um, ceiling of the room so just got my service loops up there uh, this is a medical services panel, so I've roughly marked that. The essential powers here, there's a data section, four data points, which is that, and um, a UPS, which is this guy. So same deal though, um, the UPS has an RCD in this panel, and um, so it, it comes down the wall and I've got a, I'm gonna have to sleeve Anaconda up to the point where it, where it pokes into the wall to, you know, follow the rules and shit, you know, so. On top of that, if you might have noticed, we've got these uh, six mil earths. So I've been harping on, like this is the cardiac room. It's a cardiac protection room. The, in the body protection sphere, the cardiac is the highest rating. So we're gonna have an earth bar up here, um, which is not an earth bar, it's an equal potential bond bar. All right, so that's gonna be up there. And um, basically everything in this room that is conductive at all basically has an earth to it so it includes the, the gas pipes um, it includes the metal studs the duct work um, the medical service back panels everything so anything you can think of and then add a couple of other things so this this room here is also this is the anesthetic room for this for this theater so everything in this room is the same it's the same deal so that that will be running earth from the bar into this room and basically with the six mil cable you've got 28 meters to stay within spec the spec is 
Uh, it's 0.1 ohm and yeah, it's 0.1 ohm from bar to points. And then, of course, we've got a, we're gonna have it somewhere here. Um, there's a test, test point, right? And that one, um, it's, ten, the, the, it's 0.01 ohm from that bar to the test point, which means that it's 10 times, you need a 10 times bigger cable so I think roughly we're looking at that. It's about six or seven meters. We've got to run like a 25 mil earth to get it to 0 0.01 um, ohms. Mm, so full on. Yeah, this is a little bit of a, I haven't done this before. So I'm reading all the standards and learning heaps about it. And uh, if you have any questions, bang them. So that's all nice and neat now. Uh, it actually slid down. So the hold down clamps didn't support the weight particularly well because we, we came up and then down to make it a little bit neater. Mind you, it's still okay. Looks all right, but um, I'm gonna get, have to get my four wheel drive high lift jack and just pump that back. I'll have to, we just put those screws in to hold it from slipping anymore. Um, but yeah, these hold down clamps weren't, they didn't give it enough. Um, and they're tight too, man. Like it's not like they're like, we've, we snugged them up pretty well. So we'll have to pull those out and then you know get the jack with some timber and just push that it's a little bit overkill like you know <laughs> i didn't realize how like lopsided this would be like yeah there's your yeah i think that's the normal the normal circuits and the central circuits it's like why would you bother you could have had like a we could have done this much you know? we could have done like a dual chassis board with two switches like two main switches you know but we got two boards like crazy who designed this not me clearly i'm a genie it's easy to be a genius in hindsight isn't it eh? anyway look um it's a little hard to get content at the moment because it is all boring rough in so um we're uh probably at 85 percent lighting on this level um there's some interlinks between the detectors to do and i'll show you a little bit of that when um next week i think i'll be able to show you next week there's some um, sensor stuff and there's some master and slave sensors and dialy sensors so i'll explain a little bit of that when we're doing it um what else data's pretty well done i'm getting stuff down the walls now so final positions i've done a lot of work with the um uh site 2ic and he's basically given me positions in all the rooms like where um where they need the outlets and if machines have changed or that sort of jazz so you know example for the, this room here there's a <clears throat> there was supposed to be like a 32 amp outlet for a machine here turns out there was just a 10 amp dedicated circuit and then the one over there that was a 10 amp is uh just a 20 amp so there's a heap of stuff that's changed and i've got to run around and make sure it's all perfect <laughs> all right. um and yeah I showed the, all the medical panels here yesterday so we've got the correct numbers of everything and over the coming week um, working with the petitioner foreman he's um, gonna start setting out all these um, all these panels so there's also there's different ones for the operating theaters and then like here the recovery beds so they've got the like a gas panel a little I think the little one is for a nurse call button and then we've got our power and power and data in fact, I think there's power on this side as well. It's one of them here. So, yeah, anyway, so that'll start making a little bit more sense once stuff's on the wall. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll sign off on my Saturday. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a week's time. I'll try and do a, uh, a tool-ish review or something this weekend if I get time. So stay tuned for that. See you, boys and girls.